yeah, it's like tea tree oil and stinky feet. Hey guys, welcome back. So I got my March favorites here for you today. So I have got some really great things that I've been loving this month, especially skincare. I've got some really good skincare favorites that I think are just awesome. I'm gonna quickly run through my overall Friday favorites. I have a hair care favorite. I need to go get a home decor kind of a favorite to show you. And yeah, just some good favorites. So let's get to it. Okay, so quickly running through overall Friday favorites for eyes. These are definitely the standouts for me. I know there's three standouts for the month, but I couldn't choose. These are all really good. The Tarte Make Believe in Yourself Eye and Cheek Palette. This is amazing. I have this on my eyes today. It's so fun. The Juvia's Place palettes. I really love all three of them, but these are my two favorites. The Nubian 2 and especially the Saharan. These are so pigmented and beautiful. I'm going to have a whole video on these. I love them. They're awesome. For blush, my overall favorites would be um, a couple of the new Beauty Junkies blushes. Let me see what their um, what what their <laughs> what their names are. The two standouts for me would be Russet Rose, and what is this one? This one is Infinity. Gorgeous, and I do show these in you know the Friday favorites when I originally talk about them, so I swatch them there. But really nice blushes. They blend really well. They wear well. They're gorgeous everyday colors, love them. For lips, I really just don't know, so I just wanna quickly mention all of these. I love the NYX Pinup Pout Lipstick in Silk. It's just a gorgeous nude. I really love the Makeup Peak Plush Matte. This one is Beach Bunny, but I just really like the formula of these. And then the combo that I have on my lips right now, this is awesome. This is NYX Lip Liner in Bloom, a gorgeous pink. This liquid lipstick from Kat Von D, this is Mother. It's just a gorgeous kind of like deep pink color. And then this is one of the Merle Norman Spring Collection lipsticks. This is the creamy lip color in Pink About It. Just a gorgeous like bright, fun pink. I've been really bad about narrowing down my lip favorites for the month, but because I feel like last month I had a lot of overall lip favorites too, but I just, they're all good. I love them. Now let's move on to skincare favorites. I had some definite standout skincare favorites that I'm just so impressed with this month. So first off, this product, I only used this a couple of days this month, but when I did use it, it was really effective. So had some usual just hormonal breakouts, you know how that goes. So I pulled out this and this seems to work. This is the Sunday Riley Ultra Clarifying Face Oil UFO. I got this in gratis from Sephora. So what it says about it. It says, for the management and prevention of acne and blackheads, this 1.5% salicylic acid medicated dry oil clears congested pores. So it's kind of like a greeny sort of um, an oil. I love oils. Like if you would have told me to use oils on my face, six, seven years ago, even probably three to five years ago, I would have been like, you crazy, because my skin is more, it was super oily before, now it's more kind of normal combo, occasionally oily, so it's gotten less oily. But anyway, if you would have told me that years ago, I would have been like, no, I'm not using oils on my face, but now I'm obsessed with oils. I really feel like it's helped level out my skin, and my skin is far less oily probably from getting older, but also just actually hydrating my skin. So anyway, I love oils. So this is an oil and I use it on my face and the next day, like so many of the little like tiny pimples that were popping up were gone. Some of the larger ones were lessened and just smaller. It just seems to really work to dry up those problems, but my skin wasn't dry. Like it didn't overly dry out my skin. So I was really impressed with this. The only negative is the smell is funky. Funky. Did you see that nostril flare? This is serious. Oh, it's so bad. So it's like tea tree oil, kind of a scent with like feet. <laughs> Yeah, do I have green on my nose now? Probably, but yeah, it's like tea tree oil and stinky feet. I mean, really, like that's the best way I can think of to describe it, so it's not a good scent to the point of when I was using it on my skin, I'm like, oh man, am I gonna be able to handle this? Like, not my eyes were burning, but it was almost to that point. Like, it's, it's stinky, but 
man, it works. So if you can deal with the stank, it really does work very well. It's a great oil, so I'm super impressed with this. One thing that I've been using consistently all month and that I am just so impressed with is the Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior 2-in-1 Plumping Moisturizer and Serum. I originally got this through Octoly and I was really impressed with it just the first couple times I used it. I've been using this in the mornings. That's when I use this. Um, so I was really impressed with it just on like initial first applications because it worked really well under makeup. Really seemed to help kind of prep my skin for makeup, so almost like a primer. But then the more that I've used it, the more that I love it. So. I kept the box, of course, so I can read some info about it to you. It says, two-in-one plumping moisturizer and serum inspired by Kate's Clinic in Los Angeles. Wrinkle Warrior is an all-in-one wrinkle fighter that works as both a moisturizer and serum with HA3. It says three sizes of hyaluronic acid. And it targets three types of wrinkles, crow's feet, fine lines, and deep wrinkles. So I just have fine lines at this point. Um, and I really do feel like this helps to blur them out. But also, like I said, just prep your skin for makeup. It's so good before makeup. Like there are very few really like skincare treatments that I feel like I can wear during the day. Like I lather all kinds of things on my face and my neck and my decollete at night. I mean, I just layer, layer, layer. But during the day, I feel like so many of them interfere with just how my makeup works and just foundation and all that. So I don't feel like this does anything bad to my foundation. I feel like it actually helps the look of my foundation, maybe even the longevity, but mostly just that it seems to blur out and really help create a nice canvas for foundation to go on top of. So I love this. It's a high price skincare item, but I'm so impressed with it. I really don't want to ever be without this because I think it's so good. Two more things that I've been using really consistently this month are these two products. These are both from Lancome. These are both the Visionaire products. So this first one over here, this is the Advanced Skin Corrector. It says wrinkles, pores, texture. Really pretty packaging on it. So I love the packaging. And then this is the Visionaire Newt. Newt. I guess, N-U-I-T, says Beauty Sleep Perfector, Advanced Multi-Correcting Gel in Oil. So when I first got these to try, I think I got these, um, I think they were on HSN. It was a while ago when I got these. And what I like, what drew me into them is because they're supposed to be kind of like all in one, do it all sort of skincare products, which I love those kind of products. Like I get confused about remembering like, okay, what's going on with my skin? What am I supposed to use to target that? I just get confused. And you know what? When you're tired after a long day, I don't wanna do that much thinking at night. So I like the idea of a skincare product that just kinda of takes care of everything. So these are supposed to be kind of that sort of a product. So I was intrigued by the whole presentation. I'm like, hey, that sounds good. I got them when they first came in and I started using them, I was like, whoa, they are super perfumey. So that's a major negative to them. So I don't like that about them. And I think I even, I remember checking the ingredients and I, I'm pretty sure fragrance, it's, it's gotta be, cause it's really fragrant. Um, so that's a major negative about them is that they're really fragranced it, to the point of, I didn't know if I could handle using them at all, but I decided to give them another shot. It was maybe a couple months ago that I got these. Um, so I decided to give them another shot this month and started using them consistently every night. And I really feel like they're great products. Like I think just the look of my skin was improved after using them. So this one is like a serum, it's like a pump. So it's kind of like a light sort of a serum product. And then this is sort of like a thick jelly kind of um, a product. Like it just, I don't even know how to really show you, but it's kind of like a, a jelly, um, goopy, I don't know, that doesn't sound good sort of a product, but it's just a thicker, you know, kind of a, it's not a cream. It's like, it's like a thicker gel. Anyway, so that's kind of the texture on them, but just, I feel like the look of my skin was improved, both with um, the texture, like the smoothness, the fine lines, um, just everything kind of like blurred and looking better not only the next day, but also long-term. So if you can get past the scent on them, um, if you're not sensitive to fragrance, I know some people just kind of want to avoid fragrance and skincare altogether because of sensitivity or just 
not wanting to put it on your skin, which I prefer that for sure. But if you can get past it, I really do feel like these work so well and I'm really glad I gave them another shot. My hair care favorite this month is this. This is the Sebastian Shine Define Shine and Flexible Hold Hairspray. So I'd heard about this from my hairstylist and I just noticed that when I go get a haircut and she blow dries and styles my hair, which she uses a flat iron to curl my hair, which I cannot figure out how to do that. I just can't make it work. I always have like lines in my hair and it, it doesn't stay, it doesn't look good. So I can't figure it out, but that's what she does. I use a curling wand or a curling iron. Today I used a curling iron and PS, hair tutorials are not my thing. Y'all are so sweet and always compliment my hair and ask for hair tutorials, but I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> I just make it up as I go every time. It turns out different every time. Anything I know about styling my hair, I learned from YouTube. So I'm definitely not the one to advise on how to style hair. But anyway, I used a curling iron to curl it today. But what she does is she uses a flat iron. And I just noticed that when she does it, it holds so much better. And she really recommended this. This is what she uses on my hair. And I really, really like this and I think She's 100% right. So it is, let me see what it says about it. It says Satin Shine Spray for Stronger Feeling Hair with Flexible Control with Rock Crystal. So basically it's supposed to be like a hair protector, like a heat protectant, um, a shine spray, and also a hairspray. So it basically protects your hair, but also helps hold the style. So yeah, like I love that it does it all. So I'll use a different heat protectant when my hair is wet. I use this after I blow dry my hair and before styling it with like a curling wand or a curling iron. And it just gives this like thickness to my hair. Like I really even feel like I can use it just on straight hair. Like it, I, I did that yesterday where I just blow dried my hair and just sprayed a little bit of this. And it's almost like it gives it I don't know, a little bit of texture and hold because it's a hairspray, but not like crazy hold. So it's it's just a really good, unique sort of a product and it smells really good too. So yeah, it just smells like fresh and hairspray, which I like that smell because I love hairspray. So it's a great product. I'd never heard of it um, until her and she nailed it because this, this works. And lastly, a home decor favorite. So I kind of go through phases of being home decor obsessed and kind of like rearranging things in our home and picking up little new things here and there. And I'm totally in one of those phases right now. I love the farmhouse style. I love vintage style. So that's what I go for. I like shabby chic and all that. So anyway, these are a standout for me. I've never even heard of these. These are lamb's ear. And I heard about these from Wendy Bentley Blonde here on YouTube. I love her channel, love her Instagram. She's just really sweet and just very inspirational as far as home decor goes and beauty and everything. She's just sweet, she seems so sweet. So she talked about these in a video, Lamb's Ear, and I went and grabbed a couple of them. I found some of them, I don't remember which, you know, where these specifically are from because I took the tags off, but they look exactly the same. I got some of them from Joann's and some of them from Hobby Lobby. So you could find them there, probably Michael's too, anywhere really that you could find, you know, greenery. So lamb's ear. Yeah, I like them because they're like a light sort of a greenery and they have like a felty sort of a feel to them. They just feel very like, they feel, meaning they look and have this like feeling to them of just being kind of like light and sweet and I think that they just add like this kind of airy, effortless sort of a look. Um, and I think they look beautiful in one of those big glass, um, I don't know if they're like a milk jug or a wine jug or something like that, that, but like big looking one with the kind of skinny sort of a top. I have some of these in one of those and I just love it. Like it looks so beautiful. Um, and Wendy had talked about that in her video too, just kind of how she arranges them. And yeah, so anyway, if you're looking for some home decor, greenery situation, lamb's ear. I love them. All right guys, so those are all my favorites for this month. So I hope that you really enjoyed this video. Please hit a thumbs up if you did. Let me know down below what you were loving this month, either beauty favorites or skincare or hair care or 
home decor or fashion, whatever. I would love to know what you have been enjoying this month. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!